Singapore's legal service will be restructured from next month with more specialization for officers. Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong said the changes are part of efforts to strengthen the country's legal system and to build a first-class legal service in Singapore. Mr Lee was speaking at the legal service dinner a short while ago. There are close to 600 legal service officers in Singapore. The number has grown tenfold since Singapore's independence in 1965. They play a key role, discharging a broad range of statutory functions and roles in the administration of justice. There are two branches of legal officers. The judicial branch, made up of judges and magistrates, and the legal branch, comprising the Attorney General's Chambers, Deputy Public Prosecutors and State Councils. Currently, both groups are integrated with cross-postings across branches. Officers are also grouped according to their seniority. From April, this will change. Legal service officers will be divided based on their functions instead of seniority. There will be two career tracks at the middle ranks for those who've been in the service for about 10 to 15 years. Officers can choose between the judicial track and legal track. Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong said the changing legal environment makes it timely to review Singapore's integrated model. First, because the legal service is much larger, so officers can specialise without conscribing their career prospects. And second, because the scope and complexity of work whether in the government-made ministries, whether in the AG's chambers or in the courts, the scope of work has in all cases grown enormously. Mr Lee cited examples such as ministries being involved in negotiating free trade agreements and dealing with new issues like cross-border financial disputes. Cases at the state courts are also getting more complex. It's hoped the new structure will groom officers with greater expertise in their legal and judicial roles and facilitate a clearer and more targeted training roadmap. These changes are part of our continuing journey to build a first-class legal service. But ultimately, what matters beyond even a proper and well-tuned HR system is the spirit and dedication of the LSOs to carry out your duties and uphold the rule of law without fear or favour, to defend and advance Singapore's interests in a more complex and challenging international environment, to work together as a team always fighting for Singapore and Singaporeans. Now, the last review of the legal service was way back in 2006. This time, the change comes after an internal review by the Legal Service Commission in 2012. Now, the idea is to build a hybrid system made up of mid-ranking legal service officers who are experts in their field, but who are also given broad-based training across the sector as junior officers.